let's discuss the concept of God in Semitic religions. As I mentioned, the major among the Semitic religions are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. First, we'll discuss the concept of God in Judaism. It's mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number six, verse number four. Moses, peace be upon him, says in Hebrew, Shama Israelo, Adnal Hino Abnaikhad. It's a Hebrew quotation which means, Here, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 43, verse number 11. I, even I am Lord, and there is no Savior besides me. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, verse number 5. I am Lord and there is none else. There is no God besides me. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 46, verse number 9. I am God and there is none like me. It's further mentioned in the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verses 3 to 5. It says, Thou shalt have no other gods besides me. There's Almighty God speaking in the Old Testament. Book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verses 3 to 5. Thou shalt have no other gods besides me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of anything, of any likeness in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, and the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, am a jealous God. A similar message is repeated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 9, which says, Thou shalt have none other gods besides me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of anything, of any likeness in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, and the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, am a jealous God. So if you read the Jewish scriptures, the Old Testament, you shall understand the concept of God in Judaism, that you have to believe in one God, and Almighty God has got no images.